Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this 160th episode of Safety Spot. I am your host, Dana Hilton, along with my good friend, Molly, the fire safety dog. Molly, can you tell everybody good morning? Can you tell everybody good morning? <laughs> there you go. Good morning. And can you wave? There you go. She says, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sparkles Clubhouse. Whether you are watching the live stream right now or the recorded version later on, we are so glad that you are here. Well, it is Friday. Hard to believe, Molly, that it's Friday already, isn't it? The week has just come and gone. Well, today, Molly and I started very early. We got out to the, well, we got up at 5.30, didn't we? We got out to the clubhouse at about 6.15 and started our day. Why did we start so early, you ask? Well, because today is a very special day. We are Skyping with four schools. So our first Skype was at 8 o'clock a.m. and it was with Brookridge Elementary in Brooklyn, Ohio. We had a blast Skyping with the boys and girls there. So let me share with you what we did. We have each day that we Skype, with a school from a different state, we hang the flag. So there is the Ohio flag. You'll see the Arkansas flag on the other side of the clubhouse and then the American flag. So when we Skyped with the boys and girls from Ohio, we hung the American flag. Now out there now, we have the Texas flag. We are getting ready to Skype with boys and girls at nine, excuse me, at 10 o'clock with boys and girls at Dripping Springs Elementary in Dripping Springs, Texas. So right now, we have the flag from the Lone Star State out there hanging at Sparkles Clubhouse, and we will be Skyping with them at 10 o'clock. We're really excited about that. Now, today's show is dedicated to Sparkles, the fire safety dog. Sparkles crossed over the rainbow, rainbow Bridge on this day four years ago, and Sparkles was uh, the light of my life, as, as have all of the safety dogs been. But Sparkles was really special, and so we would like to dedicate today's show to her. So we love you, Sparkles, don't we, Molly? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Molly has had a very busy week when we got back from Chicago. We uh, hit the ground running because this week is a very, was a very busy week. So some of the things that we did were we attended the um, Kids Fest Safety Fair as well as the Fire Safety Awareness Parade. You can find pictures of that on Molly's Facebook page. And we had a good time. We were especially glad that Firefighter Bo was able to join us, Firefighter Bo and his family were here so that was very exciting molly and i rode in the spot mobile through downtown main street and then we went to the safety fair met lots of boys and girls didn't we molly so that was fun now yesterday we had an amazing day we went to hartman elementary school or excuse me, Westside Elementary School in Hartman, Arkansas. We did a fire safety presentation there. These are the firefighters that we did the presentation with. There were over 200 children there, and we had an amazing time sharing fire safety. Now, I, I can say that that had to be one of our top 10 presentations yesterday. The boys and girls were so excited that we were there and we had a ball. Now something else happened yesterday that was really exciting. Molly got to meet Smokey the Bear. Now as you may remember, Smokey the Bear recently turned 70 years old, so Molly was able to tell him happy birthday. Let's see what else. Here she is at Westside says West Side Elementary School, and we had a good time. Oh, another thing that she got to do was she got to climb up into RFD number four's engine. So there she is. The firefighters were nice enough to let her check out this engine. And you know what, boys and girls? There's no telling how many fire trucks Molly has been in since she was a puppy. Let's see if I can find one more 
This is a really cute picture. I think this was really cute. So there she is. We had a great time. We'd like to thank Miss Robbins from Westside Elementary for inviting us. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me get Molly up here. Molly, up. Good, okay. I think we had talked earlier, Molly and I had talked earlier, and we decided that today we were going to talk about how important it is to get out and stay out. So hopefully all of all of the boys and girls already have a plan. This is the fire safety dog's plan. And what we have done, we drew the outside of our house. And then these are the different bedrooms and the different rooms in the house. So we know what to do in case of fire. We drew out the plan. We have two ways out of every room. The first way would want to be where? A door. If you said a door, you are right. And the second way out would be a window. So we drew the different arrows that tell us which way to go. And then we go to, can you see what that says, boys and girls? It says meeting place. We go to our meeting place. Now, as I mentioned, today we're going to talk about how important it is to get out and stay out. So let's say you go out to your meeting place and the fire safety dogs meeting place is the mailbox. Would Once you're out at your mailbox and your entire family is there, would you want to go back in the house for your favorite toy? If you said no, you are correct. Would you want to go back in for your favorite game? No, you wouldn't want to go back in for your favorite game. How about your favorite coat? Nope. You wouldn't go, want to go in for your favorite coat either. You want to make sure that you get out and stay out. Once you're at your meeting place, you get out and stay out. You want to make sure, the grown-ups need to make sure that everybody is there. So once you get there, you need to make sure you stay put while the firefighters are working, and they'll let you know when it's okay to go back in. So that is our fire safety dip today. Once you get to your meeting place. You want to get out and stay out. Don't ever, 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 ever go back in. So there we go, Molly. Get out and stay out. Well, um, let's talk a little bit about what we have coming up. Do you want to? Oh, she's so sleepy. Getting up at 530 is so hard. Mwah. All right, so um, as we mentioned, we Skyped with Brookridge Elementary in Brooklyn, Ohio uh, this morning at 8 o'clock, and then 10 o'clock, Dripping Springs Elementary School in Dripping Springs, Texas. At noon, we're going to be Skyping with Covington Integrated Arts Academy in Covington, Tennessee. We love our friends out in Tennessee. And at 1 o'clock p.m., North Star Elementary in Knoxville, Iowa. Now I have to show you one more picture that we took this morning. Are you sleepy, Molly? Are you sleepy? All right, one more picture. Oh, are you gonna rest? This is a picture of Molly in front of the clubhouse with all the flags from the states we are Skyping with today. Iowa. Texas, Ohio, and Tennessee. So we have those outside today hanging up so everybody in Clarksville knows what we're doing today, don't they, Molly? Next week, we have, um, we'll be Skyping with schools, another school from Iowa, Arkansas. That will be our first time to Skype with a school from Arkansas. We're so excited about that because we will get to add we will get to change this state right here, Arkansas, that's where we live, from yellow to red. And another state, Connecticut, we will get to fill that in next week as well. We'll be Skyping with a school in New Jersey, Georgia, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Kansas, Missouri, Indiana, Wisconsin, and Arkansas. So we have a busy, busy week next week, but we are really looking forward to it. Oh, before we go, we'd like to sing the Get Out song since today we talked about how important it is to get out and stay out. So here we go. Are you ready, boys and girls? You ready, Molly? 
Okay, here we go. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, then your smoke alarm will shout. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. Okay, boys and girls, everybody sing it with me. Molly, are you ready? Here we go. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, then your smoke alarm will shout. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. Good job. Good job, boys and girls. Now, I need everybody to raise their right hand. Molly, can you give me your right paw? Here we go. Repeat after me. I promise to practice fire safety every day. Congratulations. You're all junior firefighters. High five, Molly. <laughs> there we go. Good job. All right, boys and girls, it's time for us to wrap it up. Tomorrow we are going to be at Fire Safety Day with the Little Rock Fire Department at the Clinton Library in Little Rock, Arkansas. If you're in the Little Rock area or the surrounding area, we hope to see you there. We are so excited. It will be from 10 to 2, I believe. You'll be able to find the exact times on Molly's uh, Facebook page and speaking of that Molly's Facebook page if you haven't joined it already is facebook.com forward slash Molly the fire safety dog she would love to be your friend so that's going to wrap it us wrap it up for us today thank you so much for joining us we hope to see you next week we will um we will be here to talk about some more fire safety tips. We would like to thank First Alert, our corporate partner, for this program. Thank you so much for the funding, First Alert, for all you do to help the Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation keep children safe. The keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation is dedicated to helping keep children and their families safe. From Sparkles Clubhouse, this is Dana Hilton along with my good friend Molly the Fire Safety Dog saying goodbye for now and have a safe weekend. Goodbye everybody.